Hi, today I'll be showing you how to make an internal glow effect inspired by X-Men Dark Phoenix. You can download the stock photos to be used in the description. I'll be doing this in Photopea, but you can follow along in Adobe Photoshop if you'd like. I'll open my image and then Now this image is a little big, so I'll use image size to make its resolution smaller. First I'll work on the cracked skin effect. To do this, I'll first drop on the cracked paint image. I'll drag this over the face and adjust it as needed. Now I'll add a le negative layer mask and paint over it with a brush. I'll make the brush big and a little bit hard. Now what I can do is unlink the layer mask and then move the layer and adjust it without affecting the mask. To remove the white spots, I'll change the blend mode to multiply. I'll use levels to adjust the effect a little bit. I want to make the very inside parts of her skin really black, so I'll drag the shadows down. Then to make sure there's none of this hazy dark stuff, I'll drag the highlights up. Now I'll make sure that this can glow. I'll duplicate the cracked paint layer and move it to the top. I'll change its blend mode to normal and invert it. Now I'll use a threshold adjustment layer, clip it to the layer, and raise the threshold so that we can apply an effect just to the brightest areas of the cracks. I'll merge these two layers into a new smart object. Oops. To get rid of the black areas, I'll use blend if. I'll convert this layer into a smart object again. To change the color of the glow, I'll use color overlay and select a bright yellow color. I'll set the, the blend mode of the color overlay to normal. 
To add a glow, I'll use drop shadow. As you see here, I've already had some values filled in. Uh, the most important part is that the drop shadow's blend mode is linear dodge. The color is orange. The opacity is 100%. And the size is a little bit small like maybe 15 pixels. The cool thing about drop shadow is that I can press this plus icon to duplicate it and then make a bigger version. And then I can do that again with an even bigger version. I'll press OK. Now we can start working on the eyes. I'll change the color to orange using a color fill layer. Set the blend mode of this layer to color. And I'll delete the raster mask that comes with it and add my own negative raster mask. I'll, I'll paint over this mask with a soft round brush to bring back the area of the eyes. I want to add more of a cloudy effect, so I'll drop on the image of the deep sky object. I'll decrease this layer's fill to 50%, so when I resize it and drag it, I'll know where it's going. I'll place the layer so the deep sky object is right over her eye. Now I'll add a negative layer mask and paint on it with a soft round brush to bring back the parts of her eye. I'll change the fill back to 100% and set the blend mode of this layer to linear dodge. I'll change the color using a hue and saturation adjustment layer. As you can see, I've already selected an orange color. Now I'll change this layer to screen instead of linear dodge. Then I'll duplicate both of these layers. And drag the effect to the other eye. I'll adjust the layer mask for this new eye as needed. I think I need to adjust the uh, layer mask of the left eye, so I'll go back and do that. I want to make sure that the pupils are still black. To add an extra glow effect to the eye, I'll make a new color fill layer. Choose an orange color. And then set the blend mode of this layer to screen. I'll delete the, the, the layer mask that comes with it and add a new negative one. Now, changing the f flow of the brush very low, I'll just dab over her eyes a little.
with white as the foreground color. And then I'll erase the part over her pupils. And that's about it for this tutorial. I hope to see you next time.